All right, good morning. It's another beautiful day out here in Southern California. It is not as cloud in the sky. It's really gorgeous. It's about 78 degrees. It's supposed to hit about 83. Uh, I'm in the garage today. I uh, usually will cut my tiles uh, in the backyard, but I don't feel like dragging all that stuff out here. So I just uh, took out some tarps, which I have plenty of and uh, brought my wet saw in here so i'll get a little water on the floor but i won't get anything on any of the equipment and i only have a couple of cuts to make i've got three tiles left because i'm very good at estimating uh quantities so after doing the entire floor that's all i had left was three tiles and i'm going to end up using them so that'll be it and if i screw anything up i'll have to go buy some more ha but uh, hopefully this will be the last of the cuts, and tomorrow I'm going to sand the floor. And tomorrow's Friday, so Saturday. Uh, always busy on Saturday. And probably next Monday I'll be able to to uh, put the, in some uh, grout, just small amounts of grout because it's uh, there's a thin line, and uh, seal it, and it should be ready for Thanksgiving. That is my plan. At least one thing done in the house and uh, that's it yes and that's m much left of my favorite t-shirt up with all my other stuff okay so I have this cheap little tile saw does the trick there's no reason for me to get anything more expensive even though I would love to have a new tool but it's only got like an 8 inch space between the, the uh, blade and the fence. And I am dealing with 18 inch tiles. Uh, I actually ran into uh, a group that was flooring with these tiles and they were cutting, cutting it up into little squares in corners. I asked them, why are you doing that? And they said, well, because we only have a, a little saw. But he, he were, they weren't just thinking very clearly because I can do, I have a 13 inch cut on this. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to have 13 inches sitting on, the, on this side of the blade. So I'm just gonna to have to cut on the waist side. So my measurement to the, to the line on waist side of, of this tile is four and a quarter, exactly. 18 inch tile, I'm trying to cut 13 and three quarters. So I have to measure on my saw exactly four and a quarter on the waist side of the blade on on this side right here because th what's going to be against the fence is waste what's going to be over here is going to be used make sure you measure from both sides of the, of the blade because there's a terrible fence and make sure it's good and tight and it's not going to loosen up on you while cutting. So here we go. Alright, so I'm just going to test the fit see where I am from there. So I've got them both cut. Uh, they fit quite nicely. I just have to glue them down and I'm going to be a little pickier with my glue. It needs to not come up. So I'm probably going to get a little drastic and use some liquid nails. That was actually recommended. So these have to be in perfectly because they're not coming back up. Good morning everybody. We are sitting out on the patio right now. It's a lovely day. Pretty warm day. Uh, yeah, it's probably in the low 80s, high 70s, low 80s. Mm -hmm. It is now 82 degrees here. No wasps. No wasps. First time I've gotten Val out here in a while. The wasps are gone. Well, they are. 
We do need to do some work back here, though. We need to trim that tree back. Oh, there's a hummingbird in the tree right now. Groovy, man. We do need to trim that tree back, trim some of the plants. And there's so much I need to do, but I can only do one thing at a time. Yeah. <clears throat> so today, I, I've already been working on the floor. I got my tiles cut. So they're perfect size. Now I just need to go to the store, get some adhesives, and uh, make sure I have enough um, drop cloth so I could um, cover everything. And uh, I also need to go to the store and get some stuff we're missing. And that's it for me. Tomorrow I will rent the sander and uh, I'll spend the morning covering everything and then hit it with the sand. Beautiful day today. It's so nice to go out and do something. Okay, so it's underneath the chair though, but I put the tiles down. They have been glued down. I got a little bit of weight on top of the one. And uh, so I put the chair in the middle here so nobody will go through this door and step on these tiles. And I uh, wait for it to dry. Tomorrow I, I sand. Yay. Well, I couldn't find my husband. And I walk in here and look what I find. My Christmas totes are being brought down. Hello, honey. <gasps> I don't have as many Christmas totes as I do Halloween totes. Yeah, but you still have maybe ten times more than anybody else in the world. I don't think so. I do not think so. Start counting crates. I do not think so. Okay, so here's Christmas. All the crates for Christmas. It's not too bad. It's not like we had a sleigh or anything anymore. <laughs> of the night yep where we are going to call it a day time bless of, you time of the night we call it a day yeah okay it's my own little saying what can i say anyway hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today and working with kevin on the kitchen floor um got some plans going on with that and getting that under control and hopefully yeah it'll be done by Thanksgiving that plus some I think mm -hmm. yeah so and uh, tomorrow we go to check on the hand so let's all just hope it doesn't require surgery Anyway, if you enjoyed hanging out with us today, please give this video a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below. And share this video with your family and friends. And I missed a part. Please press that little red subscribe button down below and become a member of the neighborhood community because we have an awesome community. And share this video with your family and friends because... <laughs>
that cat's in there doing something very, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> because we have some strange animals in this house. Not just us. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.